So I've just taken delivery of this uh, Direct Bikes Retro 50cc moped and the first thing to say is it comes extremely well packed as you can see in this metal cage. The cardboard box it came in is there, the van driver brought it up. It took three days to get here. Um, as you see it's brand new. I've not actually started the moped as yet. I will do an update on that as soon as I can. Once the cardboard box came off, these wires, which were actually protected, were actually holding the thing in place, which was very good. So first impressions, very well packaged. You can see one there that just clipped off. Uh, it's bolted on here to stop it moving in transit. It's got a rubber protector so it's not scratching. Everything seems good on first impressions, but let's see what happens when we get the uh, rest of the packaging off. There's one wire left here, as you can see. Um, this one's a bit awkward to undo, so I was just going to try a, a wire cutter. That might be easier said than done. Oh, not too bad, there we go. So that's uh, an easy way to do that then. Um, so let's get the packaging off and see what's underneath. So another note is that this holding brace is just a simple case of unscrewing, I think. Yeah, so that, you know, it's pretty, pretty straightforward little thing. These things aren't over tightened, they're quite easy to undo. So, I mean, even down to the fact that they've put cardboard here, or oh, it's even a bit of that MDF actually just to sort of stop this scratching against the metal frame. So, and yeah, things like this, it's all nice touches what so far I'm impressed with. But the $45 million question is, how do we get the bike out to the frame? Well, I guess we have to take all these things out. Best way to remove all these bolts, and I'm thinking if I remove the bottom ones, both sides, top cage will just lift off is to use a 10 mil drill bit so that so they came out relatively straightforward now let's try and do this without causing any uh, damage to the bike it goes very slowly I guess you can give it a good Okay, so what we've got in here is the keys and, oh actually no, they'll be the keys for the top box, top box here which goes in the back of the box. So no sign of any battery yet, but it's probably under the seat I guess. So we got it off, um, bit awkward but we did it. Never had a moped before so just using the simple single stand at the minute, there is a more secure one when I work out how to use it. But first impressions, things seem okay. That's a little bit iffy. Plastic. So first look, everything seems okay. A little bit of scratching at the back there. Um, but it seems like a new one. It's got um, 1.3 kilometers on the clock, so it's been obviously tested. Um, just gonna try and work out how to open this thing. So the ignition key opens it. First glance, there's obviously the filler. There's a bit of information in there, which we'll have a look through. We have the rubber mat, which goes just sort of here. There's an instruction book, which we'll have a glance through. And the uh, little pack there, there's a battery. There's a few bits there to have a look at, and we'll get this thing set up and see how the whole thing is shaping up. So this is what you get, you get your battery, that's the cooling for the battery compartment, this is the mat, these are the mirrors, 
I like a little pack of screws. I guess that's to do with fitting something. No idea. We'll work it out. I like a little naive toolkit with bolts and a screwdriver and a spanner and an Allen key. And the battery itself, I guess it's got some charge in it, who knows, but there's this little battery which goes in here. There's the connectors, positive, negative. Pretty so the mirror is going very easy, just a bit of a twist action for those. There's a left and right one and they are indicated on the back as well. Uh, and there's also a tightening screw here and here to lock. So we just put the uh, back box on this one, seem pretty straightforward. Four screws inside. And then underneath, it's a little bit fiddly, but it's about 10 minutes to put this, these little rubber washers on. There's what, two of those. And then the uh, four screws come down through this plastic plate, connected by the bolts. Um, and that just makes that nice little secure box for shopping, that kind of thing. I've got to say the instructions are very good. Um, takes you through every step. And the instructions are unique for this bike. This is the retro, 50cc retro I'm using here. So very, very nice instructions. It even tells you the weight load you should use for the uh, box there. So yeah, you know, I'm impressed with everything so far. I mean, I'm not started it yet. Now, here we go, fitting the battery. So, it goes on. Basically, the battery goes into here. So just connected the battery, um, it's a very snug fit, which is a good thing, it doesn't rattle. But the uh, positive wire is not very long, so a little bit fiddly to get in there. The negative went in a lot easier. There's a cover here, which goes over the top of this, just clips on, and then there's another cover at this. So it should be pretty water resistant, but you get these as well to protect. A bit awkward to get the uh, red one on, but the uh, negative went on fine. So this is just saying before you actually use the scooter, just check to see whether there's enough oil. Now the oil dipstick is part of the filler cap as well, which is here, just on the right hand side of the bike, it's a screw and remove. I don't know what oil it takes, but using the recommended oil, uh, 10 to 40. Nice and easy. I think I've got some oil actually. So you can see there that it's uh, it's got a little bit in, it's not on the minimum. So it's that's a good sign that's got some already in before you actually do any filling up. I've just actually turned the ignition on as well. And as I do so the petrol goes up a little bit. So there's a little bit in there, but it's probably worth putting in, it's just normal four stroke. The filler is just under here, remember? So we are pretty much set up. You can see all the packaging there. Scrapman's gonna love this. So here it is. This is the 50cc retro direct bike scooter, the DB50QT. Uh, very attractive looking machine. A few things to mention about this. I've not started it yet, I need to get some petrol. Check the oil, we mentioned this earlier. Before you do anything, that's important. Uh, make sure the battery hasn't got the screw in here just to hold it on um it's a auto choke however there is a kickstarter here if needs be flies out in you know traditional style so what i want to do now is go and get some fuel and i'll be back to give it a start just one little update before i go and start the the bike I did speak to Direct Bikes about this little cap, which is just hanging loose at the minute. Don't really know what it is. There's no reference to say what it is. Maybe it's a warning light. I have no idea. To me, I thought it would have been a hazard light, a warning hazard, but there's no option for doing that. So I don't know exactly what it is. However, they said send an email. So I photographed an email to support at directbikes.co.uk or .com even. Um, Make sure if there's any problems with the bike, you report it within 24 hours. That's what the small print says. Otherwise, you've got not much chance of getting anything fixed. So, see you shortly. So, just a bit of an update. I've not actually started the bike yet, but I've uh, been on to the support team at Direct Bikes. 
there's the web address. Regarding this, it's just basically just flapping in the wind, really. Um, and there's a few scratches at the back that I've told them about. They're basically the same because I didn't check it when it was delivered. It's not actually covered, therefore get on with it. I can live with the scratches. It's a budget bike at the end of the day. This here, I don't know. I don't know what it's supposed to do. The handbook doesn't say. So maybe someone could leave a comment and tell me what this thing does here. Well, I guess now is the moment of truth. I'm going to put some fuel in this thing. The uh, filler cab is actually located under the seat on this particular 50cc retro model. So I'm going to put some uh, four stroke unleaded in, which I have here. It's, uh, it's important to say that you need to check the um, oil level on this thing. This one is full of oil, so brilliant. Don't always know for sure if it would be on a one that you purchase. I don't know, okay? So something to think about there. I always have problems filling up with these things, so cloth is always going to be useful in this situation. Never seem to do what they want to do with these things. Here's this one. I have some around the side. So I'm actually just using a normal unleaded four stroke fuel, lead free, whatever you want to call it. Like I said, I don't know how much it takes. The book would tell you. This is a uh, five litre tank here. Well, I can just say that this is again towards the level. And it's comfortably took five litres, a five litre can, and I can see that. So let's uh, get this thing started. Like you put the ignition on, which we have. Press the brake and then press start. of a pump. Said so it might take a couple of goes to start it for the first time. Hmm, interesting. Bit of a pump. Back brake. There we go. Now one thing you don't do is rev it because you will go. Do not rev it, okay? So that took three attempts to start, okay? Now, I've never driven a scooter before, so I want to be careful. Let's try. And we've stalled it. So I'm just using the back brake here. And this is a good way to practice. It's certainly got some acceleration. So it runs, it started pretty much the first time. It's a very tidy looking machine. If we discuss a review of this bike, so far, wonderful, you know, well packaged, well delivered, on time, looks amazing, great value for money. Um, the only things what niggled me was the fact there's some scratches here, which I've managed to polish some of those out actually. This, which we spoke about, I don't know what it even is, just does nothing, doesn't serve a purpose whatsoever. 
and um, the support is absolutely bloody with a capital B awful but if you want to get yourself a scooter to start out with then something like this would be ideal again just to mention the registration process the pack that comes which I'll show you is here this comes through the post with a letter of thank you for purchasing from direct bike please find and close your registration documents please complete the empty fields in the v267 form which is here at the back you also get a certificate of um, conformity that comes with it and it tells you that you need to request a v55-4 form from the dvla this is of course uk um, and this is what you need, certificate of insurance, two forms of ID, sales invoice, certificate of conformity which we have, completed forms which you will have, a £55 registration fee and a £17 road tax fee, this is all and you can get the details from the uh, DVLA websites and let's see how we get on, for now, ciao.